my name's Helen Carnack and I'm the curator of Taking Time, Craft and the Slow Revolution, which is a craft space exhibition. We put together the exhibition um, to think through notions of the slow movement, which began as a reaction against fast-paced life, probably began in the food, slow food movement in Italy in the 1970s, and really also about the slowing down of, of life and pace. And so we thought it would be a good idea to look at how the crafts um, react and respond to this and how things are made, where they're made and by whom. And um, so we've put together this exhibition. There are 19 artists and makers in the exhibition and they explore the philosophies of the slow movement through their work um, in making, thinking about time, how we look at things, where they're made, their relationship to the things that they make and how important these are in our daily lives. One of the themes of the exhibition that seems to have really come through is collaboration. The exhibition's been put together as a collaboration between myself and Craft Space, and several of the artists have worked collaboratively on projects, and they hope also to work with the audience. So, for example, Shane Waltner, who's an artist, has worked with the choreographer Cheryl McChesney-Jones, and they're offering a piece that the audience can work with and participate and add to by making stitches, knitting, and adding to a piece that will grow throughout the tour of the exhibition. Two of the artists who've worked together are Paul Scott and Anne Linneman. They're both ceramicists and they've produced a body of work together, Anne producing the hand-built forms and Paul producing the um, ceramic prints that go onto the forms. This is a cut from the collection that they've made. It is from imagery taken from maps from Birmingham Museum and their collaboration is rather nice because Anne's based in Copenhagen Paul in Cumbria, and they've worked together over a number of years but never produced a body of work like this before. One of the other things that's become important throughout the exhibition is about place and identity. Several of the artists are really focusing in um, on their practice about where they live and what that means to them. One of them, Neil Brownsword, um, is based in Stoke. He was born there and worked in the ceramic industry at Wedgwood before going to college. Neil now produces um, these pieces of work and it's made from the sort of detritus and leftovers from the ceramic industry. Some of Neil's work is actually dug out of his garden and then he reappropriates it and works on top of these found forms. Two of the artists involved, Gunther Weimeyer and Judith van der Boom, have spent the summer in China investigating how slow design principles may help industry there in understanding new ways of making work. Judith and Gunther have produced this book about their experience in China. It investigates some of the journey that they took, some of the things that they saw, and the places, the people, and some of the detritus there of the ceramic industry. One of the most important things in the exhibition is thinking through time. The exhibitors don't necessarily count the hours and seconds in their work, but they do work with notions of time, and time in making is really important. So what we'd like you to think about when you come into the exhibition are these notions of time, layers of time, and maybe allow yourself to be taken into the work, forget the hours and minutes, and be absorbed and think through what this all really means.